Hello, this is Reverend Anna from Full Gospel Lighthouse Church and our pastor, Reverend Bossidy, and all your Sunday school teachers, they send their love to you. Now today, I want to talk to you about light and darkness. Now, in our natural world, the source of our light is the sun. And when our part of the world is facing the sun, we have daylight. We're able to see, we're able to enjoy the outdoors, we're able to do so many activities because it's daytime and the sun is giving off its light and causing us to see. Now what happens when our part of the world rotates away from the sun and now we're not facing the sun? Nighttime happens, right? Darkness comes and we can't see, we can't do many activities because of the darkness. Really, the only thing we can do when it gets really dark is to go to sleep. And that's what we're supposed to do at night, right? <laughs> but, so that's our natural light and darkness. But I want to talk to you about what the Bible calls light and darkness. And so when I refer to the light, I am referring to anything that causes happiness anything that is good. It also means learning, the ability to learn, the ability to understand. So have you ever heard someone say, um, oh, the light bulb went off. For me, it doesn't happen very often, but <laughs> sometimes um, when someone is trying to explain something to me that I have no idea, I don't know anything about that topic, but someone takes the time to explain to me about that topic, oh, it's like a light bulb goes off and I understand what they're saying. Oh, I get it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's, that means light was brought to me and now I can see, now I can understand. Now, when I refer to darkness in this lesson, I'm referring to the opposite of what light brings. Darkness brings sadness. Darkness brings evil. Darkness also um, means that someone is unlearned or doesn't understand. There's a blindness there where there's no understanding. Now it doesn't mean that a person who's in darkness is dumb. It just means they don't know any better because they're in the dark and they need someone with the light to shine on their pathway so that they can see and understand. Now, in the Bible, we learn that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the purest light that we have. There's no shadow in him, there's no darkness. He is all good. Everything that he says is good. Everything that he does is good. Every thought that he has towards you is good. Every motive of his heart is for your good. It's, he's all good. Look at what Jesus did while he was here. He, he went to those who were sick and hurting and oppressed and he healed them. He saved them. He set them free. Those that were ignorant and unlearned or treating people poorly, he went to them and he taught them the right way. He taught them and he set things straight. <laughs> He's the best light in the, in the whole world. He's that great light. And you know what he says about you? You who have asked Jesus Christ into your life, you who have asked the light of the world to come and dwell inside of you, he says to you that you are the light of the world and let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Wow, he says that you and I are the light of the world. We are the carriers of the greatest light the world has ever known. So let your light shine. Our world is in darkness right now, and you have the light of life. 
Never be ashamed of who you are and who God made you because he put a great, great light. And I want to let you know um, that there was a time um, that I was going through a hard time and it felt like my world was dark and I needed a light and um, just a, a, a sad time. And I want to let you know that whenever I see you come to church, come to Sunday school and be a part of my class, your, your light shines. Your light has shone on me. You've shined your light of joy and um, happiness and the eagerness to learn and just who you are shone a great light and dispelled my darkness. You made my world full of light. You did that for me. And so that tells me if you could do that for me, then how much more can you do for the whole entire world just by being yourself? So never be ashamed of who you are. Never be ashamed that Jesus is inside of you. Let your light shine because you uh, make a difference in so many people's lives just by being you. So I just wanted to let you know that I love you so much and I can't wait till we see you again. God bless you.